So what is your name? James. You're James. And what do you do, James? I travel around, like, collecting herbs and writing and stuff like that. Okay. <laughs> and are we alone, James? I don't, I don't think so, no. Why don't, why don't you think we're alone? Because uh, things just exist, you know? Like, we can't explain them, you know? And I guess that's why I look at it kind of like either way. It's mathematics, like... So I, I think, uh, I don't think we're alone on any point, on any level, spiritually, uh, you know, uh, esoterically, physically, mentally, sp spiritually, cosmically. <laughs> so when you say you're not alone, that means you think there are other living things that have brains that kind of think like humans? I don't necessarily know if they have brains. I think like like that's more of a scientific like like kind of like archaic approach to specify like some type of uh, living organism. I don't think they have like a consciousness like us like if they are outer worldly. I think it's they're beyond having like a brain. All right, so, so most people, when I ask them the question, are we alone, they think about some organic things that evolved, using, I guess according to Darwinian evolution, on another planet, Earth-like planet, and then got smart, then produced radio telescopes and, and spaceships, and then came to Earth. How does that correspond with what you have just I don't, described? I, once again, I think it's like easier to like just describe something with like technology or because people ha are into sci-fi. It's kind of one of those candy-coated type sugar coatings where people could easily, easily accept certain um, ideologies or thoughts. I'm, I'm confused there. Like if you try to describe something as something that's more of a societal norm, it's more easier for someone to accept it as like uh, whatever it is versus having what it really is, which is undescribable. So you have felt and seen and heard something that's undescribable. I mean, I think people have. I mean, think about it as far as like uh, when we think about the Crusades and Christian wars, like obviously all these people that originally started these these feelings or these vibrations obviously felt something. So on a greater scheme of things, there is a thing that lives out there in history is full. The world is full of history that says we do this shit because there's this thing called God or there's this fucking thing that runs over us and I'm just a puppet and I read from a teleprompter because I'm a president so whoever is like really writing this stuff is the people that we should be looking for but yet they get mad at people like Trump when he's just a motherfucker reading the shit on the teleprompter. So where are these entities coming from that actually control these all, the, all these things? Wait, wait, so, so let me get this straight. So you think there's some kind of, you could call it, for lack of other word, God, who then communicates with the writers of the teleprompters? Yeah, or just like, like nowadays it's teleprompters and now it's been perverted, but back in the day... It was like some some type of like being came out of some type of light source, whether it was somebody burning in a bush or out of a lamp or whatever, or if it came as if uh, as the Vedics talk about this fire it fiery freaking mass out of the sky. Like there's definitely like uh, there's definitely something out there. And when I when I say are we alone? So you essentially you have a a feeling or vision of something that most people would call God. And when I ask you, are we alone? You say, we're not alone because of this, this God-like entity. Yeah, yeah, exactly. But I wouldn't call it God. I just think it's like, uh, um, it's just easier for people to like have it like that. And they forgot like how to look beyond that. So they get stuck at what this God thing happens and I believe that's why a lot of like uh, frequencies been off because people have gotten spiritually lazy basically. Now have you ever seen an alien? Uh, I've seen some pretty weird things. I really wouldn't describe them once again as aliens because I've never seen anything other than the uh, the vessels and the and the and the vehicles that they had, but so I've you, never well, you saw some vessels and vehicles. Yeah, tell, yeah. Tell, tell us about that. Well, there was this time I was at a gym show in Tucson, Arizona, at the Rock and Gym show that happens around January ish there, and uh, one day, 
uh, there was like just these aliens, these UFOs that definitely flew over. And I was like in shock and other people saw it because I just pointed and it was such a shocking thing that, uh, that I just pointed up and other people saw. It was like one of those things like, what are you pointing out? And we saw, and then there was like some military uh, jets following in pursuit of, the, of those things. It could have been a military operation, I mean, because people dispute it. Well, maybe it was just a military escort, blah, 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 blah. But I think it was deeper. Once again, it's a military escort, easier to digest versus, yeah, there's there's people that come here and visit shit. And have you ever been abducted by aliens? I wouldn't say abducted, but I've definitely had, like, an interaction. It was just, like, one of these things that happened that I knew that wasn't a dream. Like what? Uh, what happened? Well, when I was a kid, and it kind of freaked my mom out too, but I woke up from it. But in the dream, I just remember this kind of light and this uh, thing kind of messing with my nose a little bit. And, uh, and it was like, you're going to be all right. Like, don't but worry. The thing was messing with your nose. Yeah, yeah. It was like some type of doctor-like thing, but I couldn't see their faces as the light was like really hella bright. And like, I, I thought it was a dream. Because so I guess like, you know, through later research, I found that sometimes like it's easier to like control the aliens just to control like a person. They use like a form of uh, telepathy or hypnosis to like totally make the person inert where like they're like aware of what's going on. But like it's like the best way that you could describe it is that like sheer like waking panic or that like fucking sleep paralysis where you have something so scary where you're like trying to scream for like your loved one or whatever but you it's like nothing's coming out type of and that uh, happened feeling. to you yeah it happened to and, me <laughs> and you think an alien was responsible for no it. i know that they were because uh what happened was is like uh i like woke up from the dream but i kind of remember it's like you're gonna like live life differently it's like all like that that i heard last but then my pillow is full of blood there's like blood all over the pillow of course i'm like waking up with that last image like you're gonna live life differently my mom coming there freaking out and it was just a weird experience it was a weird experience uh and i know like it was more than just a dream because like there's no way that i would have had a bloody nose uh if it was a dream